She is known for her academic achievements, having graduated with a bachelor's degree in journalism and later pursuing a master's degree in English and French. She is also recognized for her career as a writer, having worked as a feature writer for a prominent newspaper in Miami. Her name is Nancy Culp. In the world of entertainment, there are few actors who have left as lasting an impact as Nancy Culp. Born in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, to Robert and Marjorie Culp, she was their only child. Her father worked as a traveling salesman, while her mother was a dedicated schoolteacher and later became a principal. When Nancy was still young, the family relocated to Miami, Florida, where she would begin her journey in the world of acting. After graduating from Florida State College for Women in 1943 with a bachelor's degree in journalism, Nancy Culp's passion for learning led her to pursue a master's degree in English and French at the University of Miami. During this time, she also found work as a feature writer for the Miami Beach Tropics newspaper, where she had the opportunity to interview and write profiles on celebrities like Clark Gable and the Duke and Duchess of Windsor. It was during these encounters that Nancy's love for the entertainment industry truly blossomed. With her education and experience in journalism, Nancy Culp's transition into acting seemed like a natural step. She began her career in the theater, honing her craft and captivating audiences with her talent. But it was her breakthrough role as the iconic character Jane Hathaway in the hit TV series, The Beverly Hillbillies, that would catapult her to stardom. Her portrayal of the intelligent and ambitious assistant to the character Mr. Drysdale endeared her to viewers, and she became a beloved figure in households across America. Nancy Culp's impact and legacy in the world of entertainment cannot be overstated. She broke barriers and paved the way for future generations of actors, proving that intelligence and wit could be just as captivating as traditional beauty. Her portrayal of Jane Hathaway remains a classic example of strong female characters in television history. Nancy Culp will always be remembered as a trailblazer, a talented actress, and a true icon of the silver screen. In 1955, Nancy Culp joined the cast of The Bob Cummings Show, starring alongside Bob Cummings himself. She took on the role of Pamela Livingstone, a neighborhood bird watcher who always wore a pith helmet. It was a fun and memorable character that showcased Culp's comedic talents. The following year, in 1956, Culp made an appearance as a waitress in an episode of the detective series Bourbon Street Beat. The show, which starred Andrew Duggan, followed the adventures of private investigators in New Orleans. Culp's portrayal of the sassy waitress added a touch of humor to the episode titled, Johnny Bravo. Culp's talent for comedy brought her to the attention of the legendary Lucille Ball, and in 1956, she had the opportunity to appear on the iconic show, I Love Lucy. In the episode, Lucy Meets the Queen, Culp played an English maid who taught Lucy and Ethel how to curtsy properly before Queen Elizabeth. It was a delightful performance that showcased Culp's ability to bring laughter to the screen. Throughout the 1950s and 1960s, Culp made appearances in various popular TV shows. She appeared in episodes of The Real McCoys, Perry Mason, The Jack Benny Program, 87th Precinct, Pete and Gladys, The Twilight Zone, and Outlaws. One notable role was in the Maverick episode, Full House, where she portrayed a slurring drunk waitress alongside James Garner and Gene Wiles. But it was in 1962 that Culp landed the role that would define her career. She was cast as Jane Hathaway, the love-starved, bird-watching spinster on the hit CBS television series, The Beverly Hillbillies. Culp's portrayal of the prim and proper secretary earned her critical acclaim and a loyal fan base. In 1967, she received an Emmy Award nomination for her outstanding performance. Culp remained with the show until its cancellation in 1971, leaving an indelible mark on television history. Do you want to explore more actors? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.